Hello and welcome to the Gatewatchcast episode number 460. I'm your host Norman Sanzo and well, we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So, first news is... Kotobukiya opens pre-order for Equestria Girls Colored Fluttershy figure variant. So, uh, what this is, um, it's quote-unquote a limited edition of... The, the Kotobukiya figures. Um, you know what? I'm just going to read what Surface to wrote down. So, Fluttershy's regular version has been revealed since 2019, but following the few of their other pony figures, Kotobukiya has a new variant up for pre order that color her yellow, Equestria Girl style. This follows the Twilight Sparkle one they announced back in September of last year. If you want a yellow Fluttershy, she's on the Japanese version of their store now or a or sorry, or Big Bad Toy Store for those that can order them from that one. Okay, so this follows through with what has been announced before. Um I I think you don't really need to imagine but there are six of the figures uh, and additional three that Sunset and Celestia Luna. So what they're doing now is it's kind of a limited edition, limited figure. It's technically the same, but they're recolored. Uh, just think about it as shiny Pokemons. <laughs> uh, so the difference in variation for this one is that uh, Fluttershy's hair and mane will be almost transparent and glittery and the major difference is her skin tone is going to be uh, yellow like her coat in pony form so that's the biggest difference there but other than that there's nothing much like if you don't like it, you don't have to get it. But if you do, uh, you can pre-order it now. So, other than that, <coughs> um, as far as I remember, they announced Twilight here. If I'm not mistaken, there's Piggy Pie and Rarity. See, here's the thing, I'm not 100% sure because I know how they look in Equestria Girls form. But did Kotobukiya uh, made them or not so I'm just wondering like I know there's a white rarity coming or yeah like coming is it out I'm not 100% sure if they announce it but I do know there's a pink pinky I got no idea if it's out or not so as for now I'll just say that if you're interested you can get it at Kotobukiya or Big Bad Toys but Hey, uh, that's besides it. Honestly, I would love to get all of them. Uh, but budget. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So, Pip Petals and Zip Storm from the My Little Pony Netflix movie revealed for Sibling Day. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Let's read what Seth wrote. We have finally confirmed that these two are in fact siblings. Wow. Oh, by the way, I haven't read this, so I'm new with you guys. Okay, <clears throat> Hasbro has released images of both Zipstorm and Princess Peep Petals. Princess Peep Petals. Wow. For Sibling Day today, celebrating their sisterly connection, each of them will be joining Hitch Trailblazer, Sunny, S Sunny Star Scout, and Easy Moonbow in the Netflix release this fall. Now go make up a bunch of stories about them and definitely comment on the fact that Pip here appears to be holding a phone. Future Equestria for sure. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, okay. This is new. Um, Even though I skimmed the notes, I have not read the notes. So, okay, this one, I'm guessing, who is she now? Uh, Pip, Princess Pip Petals? 
Okay, so Pippi here. Uh, when I first saw this, okay, let, let's not go jumping into um, quote unquote controversies and whatnot. So the characters here, both of them look really cool and cute. I do like what they're doing with the feathers because uh, some artists do do kind of this um, effect with uh, the pony wings especially the rainbow since rainbow dash has rainbow meaning tails it's logically it's logic to put some uh, rainbow highlights in her feathers but this here uh, when you compare this uh, pp and zippy here they their feathers are not the same so it could be that their well zippy here could have been coloring them <laughs> who knows but the design are the designs are cool the design are cool so uh pp here looks soft like rainbow sorry um like fluttershy and zippy is really hard uh, hard <laughs> uh really rough around the edges like rainbow dash and it seems like this is going to be her rainbow dash counterpart <clears throat> so let's see let's see okay now uh, on to the phone part here what's up with that and we get to see hoovesies so they're kind of shining gold uh, could it be that she has horseshoes or something like that i don't know feels like it but let's just see uh, okay it's been a few years now since equestria's um unification and then something happened and now the ponies are separated by tribes again and then in between those times technology came through equestria and make things easier so imagine our world yeah just imagine our world like back in the days of the like our grandfather's time they didn't have easily available telephones during my grown-up years uh, those were available and everywhere not really everywhere really. available in every household then a few years later we got cell phones and so on so i'm guessing imagine that reality for them i'm not saying that it's similar but the progression of timeline just imagine that so what do i think about this you know i, I don't really mind i kind of like it because if this is friendship is magic gone forward in time then it seems that Twilight has been busy and by that I mean she's been thinking of ways to improve Equestria in the direction that she was going uh, integrating technology with magic and so on I'm just guessing here I got no idea if it's true or not um, but if, it's, if that's the way that she's going for then it's very fascinating and it's really cool but if g4 is a show in g5 like how people are speculating because in earlier screenshots it's shown that oh my god who was her name again oh sorry uh sunny uh sunny star scout here has uh sunny star scout has what you call this uh a figure of the main six and posters of rainbow dash and so on on her night bit um, night light night bit something like that ah i forgot what it's called so yeah it could be that so we got no idea how it's leaning to because if it's leaning to g5 is the future of g4 in terms of timeline and so on or g4 was just a show in g5 so it's rather hard to imagine sorry not imagine but it's rather hard to speculate what the future is because 
if we say that G4 is just a show in G5, everything we know about this universe, or that universe there, is kind of new and unexplored, and we got no idea if they're, so, if they're following the same logic as G4. And like I mentioned before, um, some of the things that they've shown here are kind of interesting. I'm not 100% sure if, sorry, um, here's the part where I am kind of myth or confused because here's the thing, if G4, sorry, uh, most of Sunny's things in her room are dedicated to G4 uh, with the Celestia posters, the doll figures and whatnot. I mean, she is a fan of that, but how far has it passed from Twilight's rule to now? And then, oh my god, there's, there's so many questions to ask. And, oh my god. And everything could be broken down by, oh, Sunny is just a fan of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Which means that G4 is just a show in their world. Oh man. And learning from the lessons, the morals that G4 has taught her, she's going to try and bring that to her own world. So it's it's one of those things where it's really hard to explain or talk about because I got no idea where this is going. But anywho, um let's move on to Zippy here. Zippy looks cool. She is the quote unquote badass of the group. She looks tough, she looks um mean, but I'm guessing she has a soft squishy center. So since there are um, ZP and PP here are siblings and PP is called Princess Pip what was her name? Princess Pip Petals could they both be royalty? Or it's just oh man. Hmm Got no idea. Got no idea. So have all Six of them been revealed? Let's see, uh, there's Hitch, Sunny, Easy, Zippy, and Pippi. There's only five. So meaning there's only one left to be revealed or they're just going to go for five. So that's very interesting. That's very interesting. So, uh, <clears throat> so let's see. Is there anything more to talk about here? Oh, uh, one thing I can talk about is that the dynamic of the characters are pretty interesting because uh, besides having uh, Sunny and Easy, uh, we, we do have a male character around them and that's Hitch. So the dynamic of what four girls, one guy is pretty interesting in a group because usually guys think a different way from girls not being sexist or anything but that's just the fact of the matter that's logical thinking and then uh, we have what siblings in the group so that's going to be interesting with how they are going to tell the story because if let's just say if pp here needs to do something z uh, sorry uh, if pp needs to do something Thing. You know what? That's a bad example. Uh, if Zippy has to do something dangerous, Pippi is going to be very, very worried and try to talk her out of it. But in French with Magic, not so much because Rainbow Dash is going to be her own character and her own independent self because, well, she is an adult. <laughs> uh, so it's logical. So for this one, we are going to see a huge variety of personalities and uh, character types because PP here could be a overprotective sister or it could be the other way around where Zippy is the overprotective sister and then uh, what Hitch here could be the uh, male character that's wanting to protect the group because well he is a guy and what do guys do in shows usually 
is try to stand up for the girls and protect them. Uh, not saying that he thinks that he is stronger than the girls. Oh, that it could be he's just uh, being a knight for the group and so on. But that's how I think and that's how uh, interesting they could bring the, what you call this, character dynamics toward the group. But anywho, let's move on to the last news. And last news is uh, Zippy and PP get another screenshot. Yay! Okay, um, Zipstorm and Pip Petals were both revealed in their new 3D form yesterday. And now we have another screen cap thanks to the video of them posted on the My Little Pony YouTube page. You can see the above. Unfortunately, it doesn't reveal a whole lot. Uh, mm, sorry, it doesn't really reveal a whole lot more. But it's a new post from what we had yesterday. I'll slap the video button below. Blah 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 blah. blah. So yeah. Oh wow, Pippi's feather are really interesting. I wonder why. So, nothing much for this one. I, I've babbled a lot about the dynamics and who they are. But if you take a look, see at the feathers. The feathers are interesting. I forgot to talk about that because in this light, it doesn't really show that much. But here now, hmm, it seems that PP here is special. Like, her feathers are very soft. While Zippy has a more traditional looking feather type for pegasi or not so avians so yeah that that'd be very interesting to see what they come up with and what it does so anywho um that's about it for the news <clears throat> so let's move on to the next topic so the next topic is what have i been doing my week yes so what have i been doing my week um it's pretty Hmm, I'm trying to think. Did I record last week? <laughs> huh. Okay, there, there, um, you know what? I'm going to check the schedule, or at least my YouTube page. I think I up didn't upload something. Okay, let's see, let's see. Sorry, folks. This is one of those times where I am very, very derp. Ah, I did record something last week. I did tell you guys that uh the reason why yes <clears throat> so anyhow yes um mm, this week was a bit nothing a bit of nothing uh i went out and stuff but nothing much oh um one mm, i'm trying to think oh play the game i play the takeover that's on steam and i think available on almost all of platforms so go check it out uh, so what the takeover is a side scrolling beat em up. And if you guys got no idea what is a beat em up, a beat em up is a type of genre where you control a character scrolling from the scrolling from left to right, beating up bad guys and getting points. And also you have certain powers to use to uh, well beat up the bad guys so that's the general overview of what a beat em up is so yay other than that um i can't say much because it's, it's a fun game there's three characters at first once you beat the game you'll unlock another character and let's just say it's a lot of fun like the takeover looks how do I put this? It has 3D characters similar to how... Um, uh, how do I put this? Let's just say Donkey Kong. Uh, Donkey Kong Adventure on the Super Nintendo on the SNES. So the character style looks similar to that where it's 3D but on a 2.5 plane or a 2D plane. And the characters, some people might not like it because they look off. Like, oh, I, I don't like 3D characters. Oh, 
uh, this kind of game, I like it 2D, like how um, Street of Rages, Street of Rage 4, yes, or even Battletoads, the new one, and so on. But uh, from what I played, it's a lot of fun, like it controls well, like holding the controller, pressing buttons and moving the character feels right. It feels great. And I can't explain how... Sorry, I, sorry, I can't portray how that is because it's just right. Like, pressing buttons feels good. So, I'm not 100% sure if there's a demo or not, but it's well worth the money to get the takeover. It's about $10, I think, on Steam, if you're in the Americans. Uh, if not, it'd be 30 plus Malaysian Ringgit, probably. I don't know. So, uh, do check it out. It's a lot of fun. So, I think that's about it for my day. Um, let's move on to, well, wrap-ups. Wrap-ups, wrap-ups. So, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Um, I, never mind, you know what? Sorry, um, also please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also Stitcher Radio. If you like to... Oh, also, yes, we have a Facebook page. You can also uh, go to our Facebook page and press like. That will be very appreciated. And you can catch us on com. We also have the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Do subscribe to get news on... Not really news, but reviews on... Um, Pony episodes, comics, and specials, and movies, yes. And sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies, and those are anime cartoons, manga, comic books, and movies. We like to do those too. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show. And with every early access, you get a week's early... Mm, sorry, <laughs> my bad, sorry. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!